His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa performed the funeral prayer following the passing of the head of the military office of His Majesty, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Sheikh Abdullah bin Salman bin Khalid Al Khalifa, at His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa Mosque. His Majesty was accompanied by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King, senior royal family members, and senior officials. His Majesty offered his condolences to Sheikh Khalid bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the BDF Commander in Chief, Chief Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, as well as the brothers and sons of the deceased, praying to Allah Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty recalled the efforts and contributions of the late in serving the country through the various positions and responsibilities he assumed and affirmed that he was one of the loyal men of the kingdom who contributed to the development of Bahrain. Sheikh Khalid bin Salman, the Minister of the Royal Court, the BDF Commander-in-Chief, the brothers and sons of the deceased, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness and sons for their sincere condolences. They prayed to Allah Almighty to bless His Majesty with good health and happiness to continue leading Bahrain to its further progress and prosperity. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed al Musalam, affirmed that Bahrain's hosting of the 33rd Arab Summit comes as confirmation of the vital role and high confidence enjoyed by the Kingdom in the context of its continuing interest in strengthening joint Arab action. He added that holding the Arab Summit for the first time in Bahrain is a prominent event in light of the regional exceptional circumstances. He expressed the keenness and interest of His Majesty the King in holding consultations with Arab leaders which confirmed the importance of Bahrain's summit in order to discuss all pivotal and vital issues and reach unified Arab visions at this critical stage. The speaker pointed out Bahrain's keenness to support Arab cooperation to reach solutions to political and security challenges, terrorist threats, cyber security, energy, water, food and development projects. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, also affirmed that Bahrain's hosting of the 33rd Arab Summit comes as a continuation and confirmation of His Majesty the King's approach to strengthening joint Arab action. He expressed pride in the firm positions of Bahrain and its pioneering role and recognized diplomatic endeavors in maintaining stability in the region and support its regional surroundings in a way that achieves the aspirations of Arab peoples. He appreciated Bahrain's qualitative and pioneering initiatives which aim to strengthen collective Arab efforts. Mr. Al Saleh highlighted the role of the legislative authority in defending the issues of the Arab nation by activating the foundations and principles of Bahraini parliamentary diplomacy and its multiple and active participation in regional and international parliamentary forums, which contributes to unifying positions and consolidating Arab parliamentary solidarity. The preparatory meetings of the Arab League Council at the 33rd Summit, the Bahrain Summit, commenced. The meetings will span over four days and will consist of six sessions involving senior officials from Arab countries prior to the summit meeting, scheduled for next Thursday.
The Minister of Youth Affairs, Rowan Tawfiqi, headed the Bahraini delegation at the 37th meeting of their Highnesses and Ministers of Youth and Sports of the GCC held in Qatar. She affirmed that Bahrain aspires to strengthen Gulf youth cooperation in a way that contributes to the development of the youth and sports movement in the GCC and to provide youth programs that contribute to consolidating the role of youth as effective role models in society capable of leading the progress of growth in their country. Countries. She said that the youth movement has achieved remarkable progress in reference to the youth achievements made by youth, Gulf youth, at continental and global levels. The minister said that the meeting focused on drawing up future policies for the youth and sports sector in the next stage, as it is an important and fundamental foundation in Gulf society. She also said that the meeting produced positive results that will contribute to advance youth and sports cooperation between Gulf countries and strengthen institutions for joint youth and sports work. The Labour Market Regulatory Authority CEO and Chairman of the National Committee to Combat Trafficking in Persons, Nibra Stalab, received a Kuwaiti delegation led by the Kuwaiti Assistant Minister for the Region Foreign Affairs for Human Rights, Ambassador Sheikha Jawahar Ibrahim al Drahij al Sabah. The meeting aims to showcase Bahrain's pioneering efforts in combating human trafficking, enhancing the work environment and combating illegal practices. The CEO of LMRA noted the established bilateral relations that bring together the two brotherly countries in various fields. He reviewed Bahrain's most prominent initiatives, projects and procedures to combat trafficking in persons and preserve the rights of business parties, especially the national referral system that links all governmental and non-governmental agencies related to combating trafficking in persons with a unified electronic system to ensure that all transactions are conducted in one format with efficiency and accuracy. The delegation praised the pioneering Bahraini model in consolidating human rights and combating human trafficking, noting its aspiration to exchange experiences and benefit for the from the Bahraini experience in this context. <laughs> 